Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. First things first, I apologize for the sun. It's giving me some highlights. I am filming in my sunroom, but I just think the lighting is the best in here, even if the sun is attacking me, but that's okay. Today, I really wanted to sit down and film for you guys my ultimate holiday gift guide. I will link up here in the cards. I did a gift guide recently for me, like I did my Christmas wish list. So if you have a sister or someone in their 20s, a young adult, that would be really awesome for you to check out if that's kind of what you're looking for. But for this one, I sat down and I brainstormed gift ideas for your boyfriend, your brother, your dad, your mom, your aunt, your grandma, whatever, all your family members. And I did this by stalking my family members Amazon lists and things like that. So checked out my brother's Amazon list, my dad's, my boyfriend, I just know what he likes. So picked out a few things from him and totally stalked my mom's Amazon list too. So I think this is like a good, gonna be a good round list of what these people in your life might love and enjoy. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe. I post all the time and leave a comment down below. Let me know what I missed. Give me some good ideas. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right in. I'm going to link everything down below and pop up photos so you guys will know what I'm talking about when I'm not the best at describing things. Gift guide, pulled it up on my phone. I've already got everything linked. I'm ahead of the game on this one. So let's get started. I grouped boyfriend, brother, dad, grandpa, whatever, all together because in my family they're all very similar. So you know, hopefully you can take a few ideas from this one for whoever you're shopping for. This, I think I have 15, so that should give you a pretty good amount to choose from, all different price ranges, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I have on here for the guys in our families are football tickets or any kind of sporting event ticket. I know, personally, my boyfriend and my dad both love doing things together, so if I could get a football or a basketball ticket that I would go to with him, I know they would totally love that. And that goes along with the second thing I put, which is concert tickets. Kind of the same thing. This one's more so for my boyfriend. He loves music, and I think if I got us a set of concert tickets, it would be such a fun gift, and I know something he would love. Third thing I put on here is cornhole. This is for all the grillers in your family. Dads love a good reason for all the family to get together and play some games, so cornhole is another one I put on there. Next thing I have is a G-Shock watch. My boyfriend told me at one point he wanted one of these. I've always thought about it. It stays on the list. So I think they're really good quality and they can use them for all sorts of stuff. They're like waterproof and all that. So that's a good boy gift. Next, I have an Apple Watch kind of in the same realm. Definitely more expensive, but if you have some tech lovers in your family, they would love an Apple Watch. Next thing I put is a ring doorbell. I don't know about you guys' dad, but my dad is super into security. He's got like all the security cams and I don't think he has a ring. So I know he would really like that. Next thing I put is a GoPro. Again, a more expensive item, but I know my boyfriend would love a GoPro. That's just such a boy thing. Next thing I put on here is a Champion crew neck. My brother and boyfriend both have one of these and wear them to death, so I think they need a few more. Next thing is joggers. Ladies, for your boyfriend, can't go wrong with joggers or your brother, whatever. <laughs> shoes, I'll link a couple different pairs of shoes that I know my boyfriend has told me he liked before. Everyone has different styles, but I think most boys love shoes, so. Next thing I put on here is a back massage gun. Okay, who knew these were so expensive? I looked these up. They're literally like two, three, four hundred dollars. So I think I found one that was, let me see. So yeah, surprisingly, they're not cheap gifts. I really thought it was gonna be like a 20 buck gift. It's one of those back massager guns. I'll post a picture. But the cheapest one I found was like 130 bucks. So not too bad, but not what I was expecting. But most men in my family have bad backs. I think it's pretty common. So you could totally get them one of those. Next thing, my friend got this for her boyfriend and my boyfriend was like, that's so cool. But it's a beer brewing kit. You get them on Amazon, like 50 bucks. Such a fun thing to do together. If your boyfriend loves beer, it could be a really fun gift for him. Next thing I put on here is a face razor. If your boyfriend or dad or whoever has not already invested in one, it's a great gift that will last them years and years and years to come. Next thing is a toolkit. Every guy needs a good toolkit. These can range in price. You can go anywhere from 20 bucks and get them just basic screwdrivers up to $200 that comes with a drill and all that. So I know every guy could use a toolkit. Next thing I have on here is a cast iron skillet. This is last and this is another one that can range. 
you can get them one for like 25 bucks or you can get them a whole set for like 100 bucks but if your man in your life likes to cook steak or grill or do whatever, a cast iron skillet is a really fun gift. Okay, so that's all I have for the guys. I hope that you guys got some ideas. Like I said, everything is linked down below. That was 15 things. I know every guy in my life is probably getting something off this list, so I should have put a warning. If you're watching this, turn it off. Oh well. <laughs> And everything totally ranged in there from, I think the cheapest was like 25 and then upwards to a couple hundred. So next we are going to go with your mom or your aunt or your grandma or whatever. Like I said, I stocked my mom's Amazon list for this one. So I have faith that it's a good list. I believe I have about 10 things on here ranging from $10 upwards to a couple hundred again. So let's get going with the women in our life. They deserve all the love in the world. So first thing I have for my mom is books. She has a bunch of books on her Amazon list. I'll link one that she wants. Everyone's mom's different. Someone's mom might like nonfiction. Some might like crazy fiction which is what my mom likes all the romance and stuff so i'll link the one she chose down below the other thing i have on here is a hair towel or hair care products in general my mom is a curly girl so she always is looking for some good hair products but i noticed specifically on her amazon list was one of those hair drying towels excuse my dog bone that you wrap up your head in it's like a little hair turban and it's made of microfiber i believe i have one and i love it and she wants one so i think i might get her that Next thing she had on her list was a jade roller. I know everyone's heard of these. These are totally in. I've got an ice roller and she wanted a jade roller and you can definitely get these for cheap or more expensive, whatever is in your budget. Next thing I have on here is a crate and barrel gift set. So I was looking on the crate and barrel website for gift ideas. They have a lot of good stuff on there, but I noticed they had these gift sets that were all super amazing anywhere from like spa night to if she likes tea, if she likes coffee. I picked the T1 to link for you guys because it was mid-range price. Some were more expensive, some were cheaper, and my mom loves tea. So that is what I linked down below for you guys. Next thing I have on here is a weighted blanket. You really can't go wrong getting this for anybody, but I know my mom loves to snuggle up on the couch, so I thought a weighted blanket would be a really good gift idea for her. Next thing is a pajama set. Every woman loves a good pajama set. She specifically wants one covered in Dotsons because she loves those types of dogs. So I found on Amazon a Dotson pajama set that she might get this year. Another thing I thought was fun I saw on the Crate and Barrel website was a wine aerator. So it's basically an automatic wine dispenser. You, When you take the cork out of the wine, you put the aerator in, and then when you hold your glass under it, it pours the wine automatically out. And I guess aerates it and all that stuff so you don't have to spin the glass. I had never heard of this in my life, but I thought it was such a cool gift idea. So I definitely am debating on that for someone in my life. Next thing I put on here is a batter dispenser. She actually had this on her Amazon list again. It's more expensive than I thought. I think it's like 20 bucks. I was expecting like five. You could probably find it cheaper, but so you basically fill your pancake batter or whatever into the thing and then you can dispense it really easily. My mom always makes pancakes, so I totally get why she wants this. Next thing I put on here, more pricey, is a KitchenAid mixer. I know she wants one of these, but pretty sure they're like three or 400 bucks. So it's not coming from me, but hopefully in the future, I would love to spoil her with that. She totally deserves it and she loves to bake. I love to bake, that's where I got it from. And I know a KitchenAid mixer is like a baker's dream. Last, but certainly not least, is a serving dish. If your mom is an entertainer or anything like that, likes to have the family over, a nice serving dish is an amazing gift. I believe I'm gonna link one for you guys at Crate and Barrel because they have so many cute ones. Yeah, so this is the one that I'm linking for you guys from Crate and Barrel. I thought this was really cute because you could put different crackers or whatever on that one, but they had so many and so many different price ranges. So a serving dish is a really good gift, especially if you have a range of pricing. Okay guys, so that is my ultimate holiday gift guide for all the men and women in your life. Like I said, in the card up here is the one that I did for me for a Christmas wish list for me. There's definitely a bunch of different things on there. I had things from under 20 all the way up to over 500. So definitely check that video out next if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if I missed anything. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment. I love talking with you guys and I will see you so very soon in my next one. Bye guys.